Anyway. Let's yeah, get probably. into this demo. I don't really see... It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a teeny, tiny screen for me. Um, yeah, but I can't... Can't do anything about that. So, oh, I can do this. Nope! No! Mm. I don't like that. Oh my god. We're just gonna go with this. That's fine. It's fine. It's a visual novel. It doesn't need to be in 4K. Uh, but what if it was? <laughs> I mean, this art style is lovely, I know. so. It's probably why it can't be in 4K, but. It's too pretty. It wouldn't upscale very well. Or would it? I don't know how art works. I'm just gonna stop talking. Uh. Do you wanna take our MC? I don't know. Do you know? You're the one who I read stuff. He... I, didn't, I didn't look into it. Yeah. So, who's. Which one's I... the, man, the MC? I, I honestly don't know who, but I think it was the blonde girl. Like, I don't know for sure. They, they just said names, and there were only two girls in the in the cover. So, like, I'm assuming they're one of them. <laughs> this is one of them, but I don't know which one this is. Either way, I did Phoenix Wright, so, I mean, if you want to kick off the narrator <clears throat> in this game, I'd support that decision. There was a story I was enamored with as a child. A female child, as you can obviously tell. A tale of romance that enthralled and excited. And that story, an alien descended from the stars to loudly proclaim her love to an earthling man, the lucky bastard. I thought that this was how love played out for adults, whirling into their lives like a tornado. When I shared my thoughts with other thoughts, like my mother, she smiled wryly and told me that dearest Mome would be sad if some stranger came and swept me off. I tried to think of a fancier word for away, and I was drawing a blank. Still, I never imagined that now, decades later, I would play such a role in a story, or play a role in such a story. Play a role in someone else getting it? Oh, okay, wait, here we go. A man drew his story and fixed me with his steely gaze. She's playing a gotcha, I bet. My heart pounded urgently. The yell he brought the blade down on the box, which split open with a flash of blinding light. Gulping, I fixed his imagine and... I f what? I fixed his imagination. It must be image. <laughs> you think? That seems like a. I don't know. Oh, yeah, image in my. Yeah, that'd make more sense. Oh, well. I fixed his imagine in my mind and. Okay, so now. Was I'm guessing that's the same person who was. Yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> Kya. Painfully familiar silhouettes appeared on the screen with a smartphone clutched in my hand. It was a bad roll. An offhand canned response showed up in the text box over the sword wielding man. How do you do? I can't tell which one is supposed to be narrating. I think I think you're right. I think she's probably narrating, which means I should not do that voice. But I didn't know who it was, so that was a placeholder. Yeah, it's fine. I'll I'll do she know then. Okay. Uh oh, money down the drain again. Oh, she's the big titty she anime blast girl too. She's like um, yeah, she looks like a gremlin, but she's probably an educated gremlin. Yeah, some maho vibes, but obviously, I mean, she has milk on her shirt, so <laughs> even with a cow pattern, so like clearly they know what they're doing. Meanwhile, she has a cross, so she's a good Christian girl, so she can't be gay. <laughs> Blinking meme. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So I think it does seem like a, a, a Kuru was doing it. <clears throat> uh, why do I get everyone except Kohei Kun? The... She is narrating, right? 
Or is it like uh, another? Is it like a guess. third person narrator? Have they said I? They said I. So, yeah. yeah. They were. She was talking about her childhood. Yeah. And her mom. In the mobile game Swordsman for Sale, known to its fans by the shorn Japanese name Kensho, you collected famous swordsmen from history to put together the strongest team of sell swords. Is Kensho? No, I don't think it is. My husbando, Akiyama Kohiku. Kohi, yeah, Kohi, Kohi, Kohei, Kohi. It probably doesn't. Kohei. It's probably Kohei Kun. And he was up as an SR in the most recent limited gacha campaign. I knew it. What does SR mean? Uh, super rare. Oh, okay. So it's usually like rare, super rare, and ultra rare. And sometimes there's SSR, <laughs> which is super, super rare, which is in between super oh. rare and ultra rare. This is gonna be me asking you for definite gotcha definitions. Like you, you had to tell me what wailing meant. Did I did I explain that to you at some point? If you didn't, then someone else told me what it, it meant. What does it mean then? Uh, doesn't it mean like just trying to pull for characters? Uh, more. It's more like. I mean, pulling pulling for characters is just like pulling, but like wailing is like when you you actually spend like shit tons of money trying to get like one usually in particular like a like a lot of time pulls are like freer with in-game currency but then like whaling is when you actually buy more stuff for better chances and for like a specific character oh okay so clearly it wasn't me that told you because i would have done a much better job and also i, probably, I guess so. yeah, i don't know it probably was me how many other gacha people do you have in your life diva really I mean, Dan, Tizona, <laughs> uh, Joseph, maybe? Okay, so, yeah, I don't know. Who's to say? <clears throat> the words 30 minutes ago were splashed across the screen, urging me to try just one more pull. The drop rates in this game are way harsh. Oh, look! You got Hazelkun's SR. Like I said, everyone else... Right, my husband still hadn't come home. Of course, I had his rares, but still, it's not the same. Which is why today was the day. Although, it didn't seem like that for my longtime friend, Shino. She'd been nonchalantly drinking her tea the whole time. She was only so relaxed because neither of her favorite pairing were in the pool this time. Wasn't that like your fifth Hazo SR? You can make a full baseball team of Hazos. Why would I make a team without my husbando? The single player experience is more than enough for me. I mean, if I had even one of him. Gulping down my mouth full of coffee. Yeah, I was I was hoping you would. Which was the price of two gacha pulls. I heaved a deep sigh. <laughs> If I spent that money on couch instead, I'd have koei -kun by now. This is what I get for feeding myself instead of prioritizing my husbandos. <laughs> mm, coffee yep, scared. this is truly the best of both worlds. I'm very glad we picked this one, because this is <laughs> this is matching <laughs> my love of anime boys and, and cute girls, and this is matching your love of gacha games Listen, and cute girls. I do not girls. love gacha. I just I am susceptible to certain gachas. Okay. Mm -hmm. I even deleted Blue Archive the other week. That was very probably I, good I that overall. Is. It was another gotcha game. I should. It's not. It doesn't matter. It's, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Though. I mean, I assumed because you were just talking about gotcha games. I used context clues, but can't relate. I was just saying that because I don't think you've ever mentioned it to me. I think I put it in the den, but it was one of the channels that's just me talking to myself because nobody else puts things in there. It is fine. The cool room of the copper mug seemed to have cooled me down too. Oh, well, mine's hot, but sure. I was converting everything around me into gacha currency. If I sold the outfit I was wearing right now, that could be ten consecutive pulls. <laughs> um, so how much did you put into it this time? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Well, I sold my boob as an NFT, but it only got me $3,000, and that's already gone, so... What? Who said that? Not me. My thoughts, which had been drifting to Catcher Land, were pulled back to Earth by Shino's words. Oh, careful. I couldn't afford to waste a single second. I mean, about two months' rent. 
Oh no. Wow, you're in deep. Clearly you never seen someone be in love before. <laughs> Do we have to have an intervention? <laughs> Even though I was working every day for the sake of my husbando, sinking in hundreds of dollars wasn't exactly easy on my wallet. I knew that. But this time was super special. It was gonna make me happy. For sure. I mean, it was gonna make me happy. For sure. Going back to the game, I opened the gacha screen again. The image from the event's SR card, Kohaku, dressed in a dashing white tuxedo, filled the screen. The theme of the event was Spring Wedding. In other words, this was no ordinary gacha. This was the once in a lifetime chance to marry my husband, but the game wasn't letting me get down on my one fucking knee! Okay, so you see that this theme is a wedding, right? So, like, the card is proposing to your husband, and it's like it's telling me that I don't have enough courage to do so, and I'm trying to convert courage into currency, and it's not letting me! Did you hear my dad? I don't know what he's say. Okay, he's on- he's talking on the phone, but he- he- he said, oh really? At the same time that you finished, so like, <laughs> like- Like, he was like answering, like, oh really? But, okay? They say that an engagement ring should cost about three months salary, right? Yeah. But that's for real life I people. need a loan. <laughs> Does that mean I should be prepared to put in three months' salary? Okay, hang on. You lost me. If I put my spring bonus in all together, and I just filed my tax return so I can get that back in about two weeks, and I can put all that in there... Hey, okay. Hey, Achan, uh, didn't you put all that event merch on your credit card last month? Yeah. But then I cut it up and threw it away, so it's like, you know, it doesn't matter. And aren't you forgiving you're gonna get charged for it this month? That's not how that works, I cut it up. <laughs> Sharp pain lands through my chest. Do I not understand how money works? Other than called hard cash, there's also this magical card you could use. But even that card has limits. In other words, this was my last chance. This fails. There's always the money for my utilities bill. I have blankets. I don't need heat. Achan. And honestly, I mean, you know, celebrities don't shower anymore, so I could get away with just not using water for a month. It's not fair <laughs> on ah. him to think about failure. I must always keep victory in mind and love for my husbando. Mm? He would like me even if I don't shower, right? Mm. I'll put all my power to this one shot. No, this one tap. Please bring my husband to home. Achan. All right, and Jesus, if you really exist and love me and died for my sins, forgive me for this one and give me what I want. Just as I'm about to jab my trembling femur, femur, hello, finger, <laughs> onto the screen, I heard a small voice. Um, I'm, I don't know who this is. I, uh, oh, got it. At the same time, a cheer went up. It seemed like something was going on at the register. A crap. Oh, gross. I was burping. I was drinking coffee. Ugh. <laughs> a crowd was there blocking the entrance to the cafe. Are in Jesus? <laughs> My finger still hovering in midair. I looked over in that direction. Um, what's going on? No idea. Oh, there she is. A crown. Okay, this- I didn't know she wasn't the main character. <laughs> Vaguely curious. It is interesting, because usually- I mean, based on archetype, usually she would be the main character, and the cool tomboy would be the love interest. But, we'll see. I might switch between them, who knows. Mm. Vaguely curious, as I said, good Christian girl, not interested in the females. I stood up to get a better look. <laughs> I could see a girl in the middle of the crowd. The girl glanced at me before turning her gaze back to the register. Mind if I go take a look? Uh, sure, go ahead. It means you're not pulling for gotchas, so... 
Probably uh, back to pulling, pulling the men. Okay. I got up from my seat. The girl's clothes were all garnished. I'm just bright. gonna throw her phone away. Uh, colored in with crayon. She looked like something spilled out of an un that up in a toy box. Like a doll. She was wearing a short pink skirt and had an aqua blue sweater. When I got up close to her, her sparkling expression was almost blinding. Um, I guess that's me too. Uh, so Genki girl, uh, Gyaru. She looks like the main. Have you have you started watching um? I dress up my darling. Uh, b b this. No. Hmm? Dress up my darling is the one you think. Yeah, so no bisque doll something something. I think it's the same. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I have seen her in her swimsuit about three million times, but I have not watched the show <laughs> now. But I know immediately okay. what you're talking about. Yes, she does look like. Oh uh, yeah one. yeah, that was that was impressive. <laughs> that took, I mean that goes to show how I guess she's been all over the internet, she, huh? The internet fucking collectively nutted so hard over her in her swimsuit. I swear to God. I don't think I've even seen that image, so... Really? You've not seen a single fan yeah. art of her in her suit? What have you seen of her, then? Uh, thumbnails, basically. Oh, okay. I guess this is what like, I'm like, I just... You know, just advertising the, the show. Yeah, no, I guess all the artists I follow literally just her in the swimsuit, like, over and over again. Well... She to looks very fair, cute in the pictures, though. I was just so. gonna say, yeah, to be fair, her design's pretty great. So, love a good Giara. Yeah. yeah, I just I just pulled up her image. I, I still don't see the swimsuit picture, but... Really? I, what is it? It's yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't go Karen? that far. <laughs> what, is, what is her character name again? Is I it? have no idea. Uh, let me... Dress up, my darling. <gasps> Excuse me. Just some of my darling images. Oh, it's all the like victory sign ones. Yeah, that's fair because it's the manga, I guess. What is her character name? Girl. <laughs> Marin? Is that who it is? I think it's Marin something. I guess maybe I just followed too many people to do porn or something because he, you're right. <laughs> Searching even by her character name. Oh, there's one. Oh, Ma Marin. Gotcha. Marin yeah. Kirigawa. Yeah. I guess Google tries to still do safe for work searches. Because, yeah, there's not <laughs> much. I was expecting a lot more of the swimsuits right away. Anyway. Yeah, I can see the similarities. But I don't know if this girl, if Ren, is a Gyaru. Because I'm not seeing, like, the typical piercings and nails. But we'll see. That's true. And she's not, like, tan either. So. Or she's a little tan. Yeah, but... she is kind of. She's not like pale, but she's not, you know, tan, tan yeah, either. Yeah, she's not like, um, mon, mon buggy or anything. Yeah. So, um, yay! Thanks so much! I'm going stereotypical valley girl. Oh my god, I saw you hanging out with Rebecca last night. That's not what that uh, guy Rebecca, says. it's not what you think! Yeah. <laughs> the girl looked triumphant as a store clerk handed her a ticket along with her congratulations. Looking closer, I saw a panel beside the register advertising the chance to enter some kind of lottery with your purchase. The main prize showed the silhouette of a castle with the words, All Expenses Paid Overseas Trip with Two Theme Park Tickets, splashed across it. They had really splurged on the grand prize. So, the boss oh my God. already have- I, uh... Oh, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I already know where this is going. She's got like crazy good luck, and so she's gonna like follow her around and or do gotcha pulls around her or yeah. something. That's definitely a thing that people are a trope, I think, at least at this point. Where they have, what is it like in. Oh, you don't read. Um, you, you never read uh, Kubo san notices me or something, or Kubo san won't leave me alone. What is that? What is that? No, you're still... no I have not. What is. No, I can't. Kubo Sun won't leave me alone. Where's Manga Plus? Well, and you should, it's very cute. Um Kubo won't let me be invisible. That's what the he was wrong. But there's a character in that that like he's hard to detect, so, like when people see him, they're like, oh, gotta do a gotcha pull. Good luck. Sort of thing. So 
I'm with you. What's the name of it? Kubo won't let me be invisible. It's on Maka Plus with my hero and Spyx family and all those other ones have blue box and such. I'm just trying to see if I've seen like pictures of it at least. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, what does this say? Cool, cool, Nippon. Cool. Sugoi. Nice. What does this say? Nippon. Nice. -su. If only I had the same kind of luck. The crowd started to disperse as the girl stowed the tickets away in her bag. Then, as though suddenly noticing me standing there, she tilted her head at me curiously. Height gap. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love it. And the fact that she's calling her lady, let me guess, she's younger by a lot? Looks like a high school-esque outfit versus some sort of casual outfit, so I would yeah. say maybe height gap, age gap, nice times two. <laughs> um, you want this lady? Oh, uh, no, I don't want ladies, I'm a Christian girl. I hurriedly waved my cross um, around in an aisle, completely forgetting I was still clutching my phone. Oh no! Then, remembering what was currently open to my screen, I quickly hugged it to my chest. But I was too late. After staring intently at the screen for a moment, the girl raised her head to look at me. Um, okay, that's like one of those games, right? Like, a uh, gotcha game? How did this clearly trendy and popular girl know that nerdy word? Yeah, cause you're- That's what literally anybody in real life would say about you. A crew, like... It, it's fine. Yeah, it, it is. Oh yeah, my friends are like always ask me to pull for them or whatever, since I have such good luck. Seen it from a mile away. Yeah. She explained to me, clearly reading my thoughts and my puzzled expression. Oh, right, I see. The girl beamed up at me, her eyes wide and round like a little forest creature. A pink gloss shone seductively on her lips. Not that I was looking. <laughs> yeah, you want me to give it a try for you too, lady? Uh, hang on. She reached out her hand to me, I instinctively pulled back holding my cross up to her like I was trying to banish a vampire. But that just made her stretch forward even further, looking a little offended like the power of Christ could stop her. <coughs> I don't even know you. Oh, come on. You just saw me win that prize. But it's not. <laughs> you know, sometimes even God has favorites. Let me just give one go. <clears throat> It's not just sometimes. God always plays favorites, and also, my entire future rests on that one go. This is literally my proposal. Using the inches I had on her, I lifted my phone above her head. After giving me a hard stare, she switched gears and reached for something else. Oh my, how lewd. Mm. Oh boy, is it what we think it is? All the strength left me as her hand slid over my body. No, I can't get married to my husband, though. No. I'll never be a wife. <laughs> Definitely catching the phone as it fell from my limp grasp, she grinned at me that impishly, like a kid who just pulled off a prank. And speaking of limp grasp, she suddenly held up a limp wrist. What did that mean? <laughs> I win. You're so cute, lady. Uh, no, I'm described as handsome and boyish, usually. My words died on my lips as the image on screen changed. The man with the sword looked at me and swung as the light uh, as the light effect enveloped the screen. I screwed my eyes shut. I'll never be a wife. I couldn't believe it. My one chance and everything riding on it had been stolen from me and smashed to smithereens by this random Gyaru. I was already writhing my er, writing my own eulogy as I timidly opened my eyes. Mm, looks like something decent. Huh? There, in the girl's hand, standing in front of a bright chapel, was a softly smiling man in a tuxedo. I came. Tussled dark brown hair, 
a sweet smile, a sword short at his hip, and the proposal. You must be quite the dilat. What the fuck is that? Dilatant? Dilatante? Dilatant? Dilant? What is that? Dilatante. Dilatante. A person who cultivates I, an I area of interest, such as the arts, without real commitment or knowledge. Okay, well, that sounds like an insult. <laughs> Dilettante. He's a cinder, eh? <laughs> Dilettante, yeah. A person with an amateur interest in the arts. Uh, you must be quite the dilettante, looking to exchange with vows with an old cogger like me. This should clearly be a silver fox, but too late. Are you sure? <laughs> Kohei kun chuckled good naturedly, looking a little bashful. I came again. I hugged the girl's hand and the phone in it. Or rather, the Kohei Kun in it to me. He's mine. I want to marry you. Um, huh? Gripping the device in both hands, I gazed down at Kohei Kun on the screen. A gentle smile gracing my groom's face. I had to marry him. Or, wait, are we already married? The figure before me was so stunningly dashing, I felt dizzy, like my brain had been put in a blender. Uh, w what? I promise to make you happy. I'll devote myself to you. I love you so much. I still do. <laughs> uh, okay, I um, I know I did, I did the limp wrist, but we're kind of moving kind of fast. I wanted to tell him so desperately, and now that it came down to it, I kind of get... get uh, properly, words. All I knew was that while I'd been savoring the bliss of knowing that I could be with the one I loved forever, the words tapped to say yes out of Peter on the screen. Uh, lady? I do. The girl's voice snapped me back to reality. Crap, I was squeezing my phone so hard I was about to crack it. If I did that, I'd have to kill myself. Oh, sorry about that. You, you wouldn't understand. Oh, you, you scared me. You're intense, lady. The girl's cheeks were slightly flushed. I didn't really understand what she was saying. I didn't, sp I didn't speak homo. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's love for you. Intense, burning, passionate. Was I intense? I thought I was just in love. The girl's face flushed even deeper shade of red as she lowered her gaze. <laughs> oh gosh, she really is. She, oh gosh. Well, uh, well, this sure is moving past, but, but I'm happy. Yeah, thanks. I'm really happy too. I love that it just says gotcha on the screen. <laughs> Very good. Finally releasing the girl's hand, I took my phone back. Seriously, thank you. Oh, sure, but about what you just said. Um, Achan. Oh, sorry. Uh, see you later. Or as they say in Nippon, Jane. She, you know, she you know, must have been waiting, uh, watching the whole thing. Now that things had calmed down, she waved to get my attention. Eager to tell her about my new husbando that I finally got on lock. I thank the girl again before rushing back to my friend. Um, wait, your phone number! <laughs> um, what were you doing with that teeny bopper? I've never, I've never seen that or heard that before in my life. Teeny bopper. A young teenager, typically a girl, who keenly follows the latest fashions and clothes and pop music. I wonder why you oh. never heard that before, Diva. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> Actually, I say that, Why you gotta attack you, me like this? But you do the BTS, so... Really, you should be a teeny bopper. Because they're the latest trend in music, pop culture, fashion. Anyway. Oh, you won't believe it, Chino. Look at this. Is that... Akiyama Kohei's new SR Sakura wedding? 
Yes, this is Akia Kohei's new SR soccer wedding. My husband has finally come home. We're getting married. I can finally be happy. I let out a long, blissful sigh. I expected Shino to share in my excitement, but her reaction was surprisingly diluted. Oh, so that's why you said you wanted to get married. Why, what other reason could there possibly have been? I sent her a questioning look, conveying that question, what other reason could there have possibly been? But she was looking past me, toward the girl I'd just been talking to. Mmm, yeah, for a second that was, that was looking a little fruity. Chin in hand, Shino muttered to herself, mm, yeah, for a second that was looking a little fruity. Clearly deep in thought about something that looked fruity. Then something seemed to occur to her. Oh, what the hell. I'm sure you've seen this play out in a manga before. Or, I'm sure I've seen this play out in a manga before. I was actually thinking the same exact thing. I couldn't remember what stupid, like, stupid is mean, but like, you know, airheaded girl got themselves in this situation before, but I'd, I was positive I'd seen, like, this exact situation. I'm not sure if that's like a reference or a trope, but yeah. Whispering a love song to you kind of did something a little similar, like, where, like, she's like, I love you, and yeah. then it's like... That might have actually been it. You're right. Where she's like, yeah, I fell in love at first sight. And then she was like, oh, mm -hmm. well, same. And she was like, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, maybe, I mean, that's also Yuri, so maybe that's an exact yeah, reference. It could be. I doubt, no, because this came out, well, I don't know. Anyway, I think it is also like a bit of a trope where, you know, stupid lesbians can't figure out anything about themselves. Useless lesbians are indeed a thing. Okay, let's skip this oh, part. do I have to read that? Yeah, I skipped that part. Oh. <laughs> Boo, she left. Hmm, this could be... At the moment? Uh... Yeah. At that moment in time, I was so obsessed with my husbando, the girl immediately vanished from my mind. Little did I know the mess I got myself into. Cue the anime opening. Or not. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Alright, I'm done for the day. See you tomorrow. See you, bitch. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting... <laughs> I'm saying goodbye to my co-workers who liked me very much. I left the hotel where I worked. Suppressing the urge to skip all the way back home, I settled for simply hurrying. I'm so happy going hoots come home, I could die! Pulled out my phone while I walked. When I started up to the Kensho app, or I started up the Kensho app, Kohankun was there waiting for me as usual in his tuxedo. The top page text accompanied him made my heart flutter every time. Uh, I love you. Q. Spy X family. Fucking. Um. Lloyd's co worker whose name I can't. Uh. Not. Oh. Midnight? Is that what our spy name is? Is Midnight? I think it was midnight. Or she's, Annie was reading her mind. She's like stone faced. I love you. Mm -hmm. Double take. I love you. <laughs> so good. God, I can't wait to see that animated. It's gonna be so good. Saving that joy, I knew that my life would be a breeze from here on out. Nothing else could ever go wrong. Or so I thought. And then I got hit by a car, and this became an isekai. Hey, lady! Long time no see! The moment I heard that voice, I was struck by a car and this became an isekai. <laughs> oh my god, boobs! Touching me! <laughs> but I just became a wife! <laughs> so you do work at- er, Okay, so you do work at the Imperial Osto Hotel, huh? Um... Or, as I think it said, so you do work at the hotel, probably. Looked back over my shoulder. Standing there was a girl I met yesterday in the cafe, her eyes shining even brighter than they had back then. If there's any question about whether she was a Gyaru or not, this pretty much clarifies it with the whole no personal space thing. <laughs> what? Did you forget your fiance's face? I would never! I mean, what? For a moment, I couldn't believe I was hearing. 
Like, I could forget my fiance's face? F fiance? Um, you proposed to me, remember? And then you, like, ran off. P proposed? That was even more unbelievable. What is she talking about? Seemingly oblivious to my confusion, the girl continued sulkily. It's a good job I had your business card. My what? You had my v- Hold up just a second, I haven't even given that to Kohikun yet. I couldn't wrap my head around what was happening. First things first, I had to get her off of me. Damn Gyarus and their clinginess. Grabbing her by the wrist, that was still limp for some reason. I peeled her off me. <laughs> Thankfully, she stepped back. Oh, my bad. I forgot you might not be used to Gyarus yet. I don't even know who you are. I'm Ren. Ren Furutachi. Well, that's not the meme. Furutachi-san, is it? What are you doing here? Although my workplace wasn't too far from where we met the other day in Kinshicho, it was too much of a mere coincidence to just bump into each other here. The girl answered my suspicious question nonchalantly. Um, we're getting married, aren't we? So I, like, looked at your business card and came to meet you after work. Oh my god, you're not a resident in Nippon, are you? <laughs> you have my business card? Yep, here! My eye twitched as I looked down at the card she pulled out of her bag. The name and the logo of the hotel I worked at were stamped in gold glint onto the card. Wow, fancy. <laughs> you dropped it at the cafe, remember? No, I only remember the happiest moment of my life being that I could finally marry the man of my dreams. But no, now that you mentioned it, I didn't remember it slipped some cards into my phone case when I went to some exhibition earlier. It's not important. I guess one could have fallen out. Still, it was quite a coincidence. And maybe it was fate. Hey, so mind if I call you Akaru? Furutachi san called by my name on my card like we were old friends. Did you say we were going to get married? That was impossible. Japan hasn't made that legal yet. And also... Wait. What's this about getting married? I was shook too! Oh my god. <laughs> this like... I never had such an intense proposal. But you're like, so pretty. I figured YOLO. Okay, She's so definitely, definitely not Dr. Yaru. Views. Oh wait, go ahead. Yes. We're both correct. <laughs> like, I figure after all the, the like... Like, the likes that she spoke with, like, she had to be Gyaru, but now it's evident. I don't speak Gyaru. Why the hell would she think I proposed to her? Like, we're even in the same league. And also, it's very ambiguous to as to our ages so far. And then I remembered... This is a Yuri visual novel. <laughs> I want to marry you. Uh, what? 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 I promise to make you happy. I devote myself to you. I love you so much. 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 Lady? Remember that thing that happened five seconds ago real time, even though it might have been a day in the game? I do. <laughs> and now... Oh, no! Um, what? No, 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 that wasn't what I meant. Those words had been meant for Kohei, could not her. <laughs> what wasn't? That was... I, my husband... I cut myself off. I didn't want to tell this random girl whose name I barely know. This cool girl. About my geeky hobbies. I mean, I mean she already saw you playing the gacha game. Although maybe it's a bit late for that, considering she already saw me playing the gacha game. I, I was saying it to someone else. Uh, who? You know other girls? <laughs> um, a boy who's real. So that proposal was what? A joke? I won't hesitate, bitch. If you were to thought she impressed me, clearly dissatisfied with the response considering her threat of not hesitating, bitch. 
How does she know all my coworkers call me as a nickname? The way she was puffing out her cheeks was super cute. <laughs> but in all my 26 years of life, I've only ever loved 2D men. Okay, well, we got two six, uh, 26 uh, confirmation age. Oh, good catch. And she was 3D. And a girl. Gamers don't talk to girls. Especially not 3D ones. No, it wasn't a joke. It was impossible. Sh sure, there had been times when I yearned for something real. But that was long gone. Plus, I'd never been into the same sex stuff. I mean, I'm a good Christian lass. So it was for real? Her eyes lit up. She looked like she was about to leap into my arms, so I held her back with the cross. Both hands. Hold up. <laughs> Cry, power of Christ compelling, repelling her. Stop right there, criminal scum. It was a misunderstanding. I'm sorry, but I can't go out with you. Hmm. Really? Really. So, I believe that I seem to have got through to her. I let out my breath. But alas, I was naive. Kiarus don't listen to reason. Or laws. Or reality. But I really like you, Akaru. I just decided I wasn't going to shower for a month. <laughs> furutashi san still clung onto my arm, grinning up at me. It's a shame we're postponing the wedding, but I love you. So, give me your number. What? You're definitely not a citizen and just trying to get a green card. It probably works the same way in Japan, <laughs> so... Uh... But she was already pulling out her phone, dripping with dozens of cute keychains. Please. <gasps> uh, what? Or as they say in Nippon, Nani? She <laughs> loved me? I still do. No, 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 no. What is the... What is like the... The typical like... No, 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 no. But like the Japanese, like... It's not like Chigao uh, a bunch of times, right? It's not like Chigao, uh, Chigao, Chigao. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, because it's like Ie or something for like no or something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. more casual is Ie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't you just go throwing that word around? Besides, this was moving way too fast for me to keep up. Are all young people this day these pushy? This girl was crazy intense, like some kind of alien from outer space. Sure, I'd wanted to thank her, but never in a million years I'd expect her to come to my workplace and demand my number. Come on, give me your number! I don't have a cell phone. Um, <laughs> what happened to the one you were playing the game on? I broke it. She opened her messaging app and looked up at me expectantly, not believing my claim to not have a cell phone. And what's the problem? I... Being around me might work in your favor. I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> this could so easily go like the Hirotaka Narumi route. Where <laughs> you're just like, if you stay late <laughs> at work playing games, I'll wait for you. She's like, alright, we'll date. Exactly. Well, honestly, that was a pretty inviting proposition. It's going tickets to live shows, gotcha. And Ataku's life was all about luck. I already seen in my own eyes just how lucky this girl could be. Hmm. Uh, I silently held my phone to her. It was a transaction. A business arrangement to protect my life with my husbando. To deepen our love. <laughs> Thanks! I'll text you, Akuru. And that was how Akuru Hayoshi met Ren Furutachi. Or rather, how the universe threw them together. Barbie dolls being smashed together to kiss. Like Mike Tyson making his pigeons kiss. Like some other example of forcing a kiss. Oh, no way! I was in the break room at the Imperial Asso Hotel. My scream echoed around the small room situated behind the lavish reception hall, dripping with glittering chandeliers. Phone uh. clutched in my hands. My eyes were glued to the words on the screen. 
Wow, Shino suddenly looks Jeez. much older here. I was gonna say. <laughs> um, Achan, your otaku side's chilling, and we're at work. Uh, sorry. Or as they say, Nippon. Gomena, sorry. Shino stared. I kind of like her outfit. Like, it looks like a flight attendant outfit. <laughs> yeah. I think that's also pretty typical, like, hotel stuff, right? I think they're kind of similar. Really? Or, mm. Yeah. She's probably like a receptionist or something. Like, high-end ones, I feel like, do that kind of look. But also very flight attendant-like. She mm. stared blearily at me over her convenience store rice bowl. Our lunch break was the only time she and I got to talk. And she was in the linens department while I was out front. A linens department? At a hotel? Like, taking care of the hotel. The, the like, towels oh, and like stuff. like, laundry. I guess. I had a habit of lapsing into phantom talk when we were able to get together. Oh, but Nichiki-san, this is an issue related to my work efficiency. Um, why are you using my last name? Because I'm talking about work things and my work efficiency. I'm blending in. Of course, Hayayoshi-san. As we stealthily continued our conversation, I deliberately held my phone out for her to see. Show. He's holding a fan event. Oh, for real? I mean, it's just ended, so I figured something might be announced. From what I could gather from the in-game announcement, they would be holding an IRL fan meeting. My hands unconsciously tightened around my phone. It's finally here. A real live event. You gotta I go. I gotta go. I knew it. <laughs> I'll get to hear Koei Kun's voice live. I bought those so much. You really think I wouldn't go to their very first event? Um, will Kohei-kun actually be How there? How I know? So you don't even know. Wait, I'll check right now. I got so carried away in my head, I'd forgotten to check the most important thing. I quickly went back to reading the rest of the announcement. <gasps> He's gonna be there. He says right here in the announcement. The post detailed the time and place of the event, along with a list of participating characters. Hmm. She now opened the app on her phone too and scanned the cast list. Looks like all the main characters are in. Tn note. Tn t slash n. Translator's note. Kara's mean plan. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Hmm. Yasaza's on there too. Hmm. They haven't announced the schedule yet, and the voice actors. They haven't posted anything to trigger, either. She now squinted down at her phone, her eyes flicking up and down as she scrolled through the social media. The info gathering speed of a powerful Joshi who ran three dojin circles at once was truly a force to be reckoned with. Hey. <laughs> she would. Yeah. Hmm. I bet the lottery tickets are gonna come with the drama CD. <gasps> oh shoot, I gotta pre-order a whole bunch. If the lottery tickets came with the CD, then the only way was to gain more chances to buy more CDs, but I just spent all my money trying to get uh, Koei Kun, but now I have to get more CDs, and I just... <sighs> I don't need my kidney. You're basically obligated <laughs> to buy a whole stack. Otherwise, it's like you don't even love him. Akru, uh, didn't you just plug all your money into the gacha event? Can you afford it? I got my paycheck, so I'm fine. Stop bothering me, Mom. Oh, I spoken too soon. Hold up. Look at this. She not turn her phone around to show me. It was open on some kind of article. Kensho fan event announced lottery chance. One in fifty. What? One in fifty? That's amazing odds for a gacha game. Oh, just kidding. It's it's the tip. Well, no, yeah, that's <laughs> depressing, but that's pretty decent <laughs> for an SR. <laughs> well, I guess if, if SR is like the highest it goes, that's not bad, which is depressing. Mm. One in fifty is the chance of winning a ticket in the lottery is two percent in gacha terms. That's like pulling an SR. Oh, with one of my bank. Oh wait. 
with what was in my bank right then, I could stretch to 20 copies at most. Definitely not a guaranteed win. Judging by the number of players and the capacity of the venue, it's not looking good. You don't need to tell me that. I'm already selling my kidney. And you have, like, the worst luck. I'm gonna start selling my sweat online. She was right. <laughs> I knew that damn well. I'm probably gonna have to start peeing in bottles. Nope. If only there was some way to cure my bad luck, Kurt. Oh! Hmm? You come up with something? Finally time to sell your kidney? <laughs> I'm not there just yet because I have some Gyaru thought. Simp? Whore? E-girl? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Although, this might actually be harder wow. because I'm not sure how to stereotype her. Hey, Akuru! <laughs> yeah. Isn't that place, like, super cute? You stop bullying me. A paper bag hung heavily from my hand. My decrepit millennial body bearing the weight of 20 CDs to Gen Z people. That's the equivalent of a lot of TikToks because those are digital. What? what? I don't know what a better reference is. What is this tic what else? What is a physical thing that they get? The youngins. Physical thing that they get. Yeah, because like they don't do CDs. What is? Oh. What is like a pirating? I don't I, know. I, 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 I don't <laughs> digital. It's the equivalent of a lot of chicken nuggets. <laughs> maybe I was bearing the weight of the entire situation. Who would need today are the CDs? Hmm. Yes, I'm using you like an object. And sent me a stern look. Gosh, you're scary. I mean, you know, an old fart like me has no place in a young person's store. I thought you guys only did digital things. Don't you have a TikTok? You're young too. But I don't have a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, see. It says the Gen Z -er. I know that you do the Fortnite dances. In order to win. Oh, that's what a, an equivalent. It's the equivalent of 30,000. Fortnite bucks. Z bucks? V bucks. Something like that. In order to oh win the lottery God. to attend the fan meeting, I had first had to get lucky with the lottery tickets. With that thought in mind, I decided to make use of my wife's power. I know what you're after anyway. You like need to win something, right? With those CDs? <laughs> ah, knew it. It's not like you don't want to go out on a date all of a sudden. <sighs> Sorry. You're right. It's not like me. Furutachi san had seen right through me. She nuzzled up against me triumphantly. I like that there's. I mean, she's straightforward about it. <laughs> but, but I'm really happy. I mean, this is still a date. Uh, as they say in Japan, Dato. I knew the choice of words had been unlike me, but having her poke fun at me was super embarrassing. How the kids these days treated everything like a date. Well, that is what she. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> at least according to anime. Really, I didn't know anything about the youth of today. Especially cool, trendy kids like her. Is she already on something newer than TikTok? <laughs> uh, so what CD did you buy? Um, so, a CD is what's shorthand for a compact disc, and I hesitated, but Futatachi's cheekily snatched one of the CDs out of the back of my hands. But wait, I hadn't finished explaining it yet. Are these the guys you're into? Oh, wait, why are there so many? No, uh, that's all the characters. She stared at the cover with interest. All the Kensho characters were gathered together. Like some kind of group photo. This is the one I like. What? He's like a kid! Akru, are you a Shotokan? Furutachi son followed my finger to the character that gawped at me. Gaw That's kind of funny considering the, the voice you gave him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what? He was a. He. 
Oh, I was gonna say, he said he was an old cogger, or whatever. Okay. He's not a kid. I account. He's actually a 300 year old spirit dragon something or other. And it's not weird because I'm mm. a female, so it's allowed. He's not a kid. Akiyama Kohikun is a swordsman in his 80s. Okay, that doesn't make it all that better. So he's, he's an old man. He's a silver fox. He's not an old man. He's he's a silver he's a daddy type. You that's a Gen Z <laughs> thing, right? You like the daddies? Well, he's the granddaddy. <laughs> so there. Mm, yeah, but I also know myself worth not to rely on a man. So you're absolutely the kind of person that an old Russian mobster would keep around with my I don't know how to talk to you <laughs> I restrained myself from yelling any further passersby were already giving us curious looks just get it back stop judging me are you mad at me yes <laughs> oh come on I'm sorry what are you getting mad at liking an older person I'm an older person compared to you but, like, not by much. She had to the CD to me apologetically. Little did she know that 30 years old was basically death for female. Also, age is just a number. <laughs> did you read the, the newest, um, Oshinoko chapter? No, I have not. Never mind, then. Okay. I couldn't tell whether she was serious or messing with me. Age was just a number. Then why was she getting mad at me about being a Shotokan? Oh! Oh god, a choice! Oh god, we have choices. I'm sorry for lying. Are you really sorry? Wait. Oh, she did say I'm sorry. Um, is there actually. I don't want to pull the guy right. Oshi Rabu Kaido. Speaking of fucking TikTok, Brad is sending me like six different TikToks today. I don't know what is going on with him. Who sent you? Oh, Brad? Brad, yeah. I mean, granted, they're all like TikToks uh. for like people like us, I guess, but still. Oh, uh, slides. Spoilers. Okay. Choices explanation. Okay, okay. And this first one doesn't matter. Oh, there's not too many. Um. Okay. Amy sends me some all the time, so I feel your pain. Yeah. Emmy and Courtney, and sometimes Crystal. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch this one, the uh, basic torso and upper arm area. <laughs> Are you Wild listening to what right now? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just had to open it and see what it is, and that was the first thing that popped up. Okay. Anyway, did you find a uh, guide? Yeah, there's, it doesn't look like there'll be all that many throughout the story or anything, but uh, this one apparently doesn't matter, so I think we should just be. We're the older person, so. Uh, I'll set an example for my Gen Z fiance, allegedly. Gomena, sorry for lying. I was in the wrong, too, so. It was only right I apologized. Furu Tachi san's eyes widened in surprise. Akaru? Gomena, sorry for wasting your time on a weekend. Feeling awkward, I averted my gaze and tucked my hair behind my ear. Cute. Furutachi-san stared at me in amazement for a few seconds before finally breaking the silence. Yeah. <laughs> Same girl. You were so good. You were so cute. I so want to kiss you right now. Eh? Can I kiss you? That mind went blank at the unexpected proposition. Furu Tachi san was already reaching her hand toward my cheek, ready to make good on her word. I quickly called, caught hold of her wrist and pulled away. Then I made the pan 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 pa, 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 pa. camera pan toward the sky. <clears throat> eh? <laughs> Yamate, Yamaro, as they say in Nippon. Stop right there. Or hold it, as they say in Phoenix Wright. Very good. Uh huh. I'm not allowed. You are not allowed. 
Ah, oh, damn, I guess I have to consent. Or I have to get your consent. Yeah, now you're we'll the concede. generation that started that, you know. Before you guys yeah. came on, everyone was just smacking each other's asses and being in, decent in the street and, you know, cancel culture, something, something, etc. So, yeah. So you have to ask for consent. <sighs> anyway, that's my lesson for today. Okay, I want to get home. Uh, already? Oh, can I come with? Nani? Who taught you sounds, but... Oh, hold up. I'll be right back. Mm. What, what, what'd you get? Unless it's private. No, it's, uh, I got another bookshelf because I ran out of room on the one bookshelf that I bought. So now I have another one. Nice. You, you getting educated. No, it's true. <laughs> I mean, I fucking wish. I don't have real books, Diva. I have picture books of comics and mangoes. So, that's all it's for. Uh, it's still a different form of education. Yeah, it's, it's an education that ruins your brain instead of helping it. <laughs> details, details. Furutachi san spun around in front of me, pouting sulkily. The next words out of her mouth were surprisingly convincing. These CDs are for, like, a lottery, right? So don't we, like, need to stay together till you know you've won? Oh, she had a logical point. The CDs only contain the lottery tickets. The draw for the fan meeting would take place several weeks from now. That's true, but it's not like we can make it together all the time. That wasn't possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not unless you're married or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we can live together. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I barely knew this girl. Yet, for her part, she didn't seem all that bothered by that fact. God. Kiaru's, man. Gen Z. Whack. What's the big deal with staying at your place for a while? I'll still go to class during the day in my part-time job. Oh my god, I'm gonna get arrested. Maybe. See, I was gonna wonder if she, like... If it's Gen Z, wait, when did this game come out? 2020, I think I saw. I think this one was 2020, and then the sequel and or DLC was 2021. Okay, yeah, she could still be like, see, Emmy is kind, basically Gen Z, and she's 20. So, like, she could still be 19, 20, yeah, even though she's... College-aged. Yeah, like, she, I'm just wondering if by class she means... High school or college? Yeah. Or as they say, Nippon. University. N yes. Okay. Mm. Part of me wonders if she's like trying to get away from something, but I'm also really not getting those vibes from this. Yeah, I have no, no idea. idea how this Gyaru's mind works. <laughs> how can I possibly live with her? I can't even begin to imagine it. On the other hand, being around her could mean winning that coveted 2% probability ticket. Oh, the two opposing views fought on my mind. Oh, but you don't even know me. I doubt your parents would be okay with you staying at some stranger's house for days at a time. How can it be, like, armed to the teeth? I could have a person locked in my basement. Uh, no, I already live on my own anyway. Okay, but what about those other things? In a split second, her cheerful demeanor had vanished. She looked down at the ground and spoke in a sad whisper. Are you trying to make me feel things that aren't gay in this Yuri visual novel? She was alone? At her age? In this economy? A scene from a TV show I'd been watching the other day popped in my head. A delinquent girl wandering the streets at night. Older men with ill intentions approaching her. The dark image swirled in my mind. She looks so mature, but she's still pretty much a kid after all, despite her big boobily doobilies. I feel a lot safer with someone competent like you around. I looked over my shoulder, trying to find out who she was talking about that was competent and nearby. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Can I? 
if at any point I think it's not working, you're out. Like, on the streets, begging for whatever you survive on. Potato chips? Yay! I love potato chips! Or as they say in Nippon, Yata. I iced teru potato chipo. God. Potato God. Be chi <laughs> chipsu. I've heard I fucking Connor and Joey have done like a potato chip thing on trash taste before. I know that it's like crisps or whatever, but they Joey's done like the katakana or whatever for, and I, I can't remember what it is. I feel like it is like chipsu or something, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, in an instant, her gloomy expression had vanished like a dew under the sun, and her eyes sparkled. She played me like a fiddle, didn't she? <laughs> yes, I'm so hyped! Woo! Let's go! I wanna see your place! I, I am so surprised by whoever translated this. They, they definitely may have dated themselves, but I also love it. <laughs> well, how do you mean dated? Well, like, the, the slang, like, YOLO, YAS, like, uh, <laughs> like I don't YOLO know how for long. sure is, like, not very recent, but I feel like the other stuff isn't really. YAS is recent, yeah. for sure, but, like, I'm wondering, I'm saying they might have dated themselves as in for the future, like, I don't know how long people will be saying like, these things, uh, so. Yeah, I spoke too soon. It was already too late. Fudetachi san linked your arm through mine and set off, blew me along with incredible force. I already regretted it. Wait. Why is she leading me to my house? How does she already know where I live? <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> okay, that guy is not fucking 80. No wonder she thought he would, she thought she was just Shotokan. If that's supposed to be Kohekun, like... Nah. Oh boy. Oh my god. Sam's at fucking literally like Lilo and Stitch land. Super cute. Aww. Welcome to Lucky. historic old town Hanada Pepe. Or as they say, Nippon. Pee pee poo poo. Uh, home of Lilo and Stitch. That's cool. Very jealous. Uh. There's also a drawing of Lilo and Stitch next to the sign. That's not great. Rachel just said Nani looks like a potato, but cute stuff <laughs> anyway. I walked the roof from the station to my place like I'd done a hundred times before and stepped into the familiar apartment. But today there was one big difference, and attached to that were two big differences. <laughs> Thanks for having me! There was someone else in this space I usually shared with only myself. No strange enough, but Ren's flashy figure was like a jar of colorful beads that had been placed that had been spilled all over my neutral toned apartment. Akru, where's the bathroom? Um, I don't have one because I'm- Hey! The moment I answered, she was already flinging the door and merging inside. But I didn't tell her where it was. I didn't tell her where this was. But she already knows both things. What are you doing? Extra toothbrush, check. Men's razor, check. All negative. Crockery for one. Whoa, hang on. Why do you have so many mugs? Next to the bedroom. Hey, Choto, that's mine? The bedroom where I kept all my precious posters and other merch, and not only that, but an entire bookshelf full of comics featuring men in compromising positions, aka. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, Dojin, the fan <laughs> comics. Good job. Hmm, what do we have here? I'm holding those for a friend. For real. She's a Fujo. She'll gladly claim them as her own dojins. <laughs> Yamero! I dashed after her, but she was already turning into a different direction to what I predicted. Itai, as they say in Nippon. I unceremoni unceremoniously crashed into the bookshelf. Furutachi stopped rummaging through the bedside table to stare at me wide-eyed. What are you doing, Akru? Making an embarrassment of myself. Rubbing my sore nose, I looked down at Furutachi-san sitting on the bed. She seemed calmer than before, no longer searching frantically for something. 
What are you doing? Well, I had to check whether or not you had a partner. Partner? I repeated the word to myself. Partner? I never even thought about it before. You think I'd be here if you did? You think you'd be here if I did? Besides, none of your business. Uh, but it totally is. I'm your girlfriend, so. I told you I like you, remember? No. <sighs> I see. So that's how it is. Just as I was puzzling over her, my finish, my finish, my. F I had a stroke. And then my vision flipped <laughs> upside down. The next thing I knew, a pair of pale, sparkling eyes were right in front of my own. Nice. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't think of something stupid to say. Just empty <laughs> mind. Her previous innocent smile vanished, replaced by the innocent stare. She was so close I could almost feel her breath on my face. I wanted to look away, but for some reason I couldn't. She, you devil. Witch. Spellcasting. <laughs> Akaru, please stop trying to banish me with your cross. Why <laughs> isn't this thing working? Oh, what's wrong? You must not be feeling well. There's no other reason you would do this. I could barely form words. I never had another woman in my personal space like this before. I felt like I might break out in a cold sweat. Tense atmosphere abruptly loosened. With a soft giggle, Furutachi san stroked my cheek when I squeer. Squeared? Squared? Squirmed? I have no idea. Squat. Oh, it's probably squirmed. Squared. I know. Squired. Of a man. Company or escort a woman. Have a relationship with a woman. Well, that's squire. Well, squire is a verb, so the past participle will be squired. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be squirmed, though. <laughs> mm. But as I had a relation or escort of this woman, of the tickling <laughs> sensation, she frowned. Are you for real? You really don't get it. I know you don't watch anime, but this is really a lot like Baccarina. You should watch that show and then get back to me about how I refuse to acknowledge this possibility. I mean, get what? She's Bakaru. <laughs> Except she's like... She is, but she very clearly like isn't. At the same time. Yeah. She's just like lying to herself. I had no idea what she was talking about. What could possibly be happening right now? There's just no explanation. One minute she was like a clingy kid. The next she was laughing at some joke I wasn't in on. Oh my god, is this all just a TikTok prank? Is she recording this and live streaming it to her Twitch awk followers? Wake up already. The sweet scent of April. Oh my! Just right for the smooch. The sweet scent of apricots filled my nose. A soft sensation across my cheek made me gasp. But I can't be a wife. I'll leave it at that today. There was a bashful tinge to her tone. But before I could figure out what was going on, she continued. <laughs> nice. In case you uh, haven't figured it out, I clearly am... I have to spell it out for you. Um, I'm a lesbian, just just putting that out there. Is that what they call a Nippon a roommate? I am more curious if that was actually... I don't know what lesbian is in Japanese, because in like 90% of the yuris that I consume, they never actually talk, touch that topic, but I'm curious if she actually mm -hmm. said that in the original script or if they're localizing that, because I feel like it's so rare for a yuri to actually be like gay slash lesbian slash lgbt slash anything that's like an actual word about it and it's more just tiptoeing stuff 
If you want me, you can totally hit the, the Japanese subtitles after at some point. There's a... I can't get to I think there. I saw on the front, on the, yeah, on yeah. the main menu page I that we could, but I... <laughs> huh? Less Bian. Less... This is just Bian. reminding me of that meme, though. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm a... I, I'm a... Re I love the... Less <laughs> less the, the, the girls! Less Bian. Less... <laughs> Less biab. Oh, here we go. Uh, less biab. Less biam. Less bian. Girls. Wait, did have you ever? Have do you know what that is? Yeah. The images. Yeah. I I can you please send it to me? <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in gaming. Okay, I've been missing this image so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this source like. Uh, this is absolutely not what this original anime is happening. But I do not know what the original anime is. I th it looks like. I mean, the art style looks a little bit like sort of online, yeah, but it's not but quite it's it. Yeah, it's not. It's, it says I was exactly gonna say that it's just so fucking generic that like it could be anything. Mm-hmm. Less bien. Those aren't real. So. She likes... Girl? <laughs> My mind can't comprehend. Girls can't... Like girls? All our previous interactions spun through my mind like a kaleidoscope. Where were the signs? <laughs> Does this mean all this hasn't been a joke to her? I just thought that teen girls always did this. She put her finger to her lips. The ones on her face, thankfully. Teasingly. So wake up and smell the- uh, nice. Mm -hmm. So wake up and smell the lilies, okay, darling? Or are you more of a honey? I don't know what that last part means, but I get the first with the lilies. I don't know, maybe it's more like oh. what we want to be called. Oh, are we getting the do we get an anime opening? Hell yeah! Wow! I mean, it looks so official, so I, I'm i glad they're going all out. Hell yeah. Gotta have their three sizes listed. Mm-hmm. Oh my, even some like live 2D animation. Yeah. Do I know how to pick them or do I know how to pick them? <laughs> So, uh, from that image, I'm almost like, she literally, like, drag her to the <laughs> wedding and she, like, runs away, or... That is a fair question. Mm. So this the, oh, so this was the demo, this huh? This was still the demo, yeah. Naturally. Again. Okay, wait, let's see. Which one is Nippon? This one, right? Yeah. Let's just skip to where she says lesbian. This would be certainly a good game to practice your Japanese, I guess. <laughs> Is it simple enough you, you would imagine, I guess? Are you easily reading along at these high speeds? she -Hulk, that's what you're getting yeah. at. Not quite, no. Oh, they they just straight up mentioned line, or rhyme. <laughs> hmm. They didn't do that before. So you are reading at the yeah, super like, fast well, speed. They translated. Well, I saw Ryan. Like it was kind of in big letters. Eh. Eh. Yeah, <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> uh, okay, we 
which did I pass it? I don't know. No, I don't think so. She, it was after she kissed her, so we can skip that a little bit. There we go. Uh, okay, this is where she's like, I'll leave it here for today. <laughs> no, it's gonna be when Maybe she speaks, no. right? Yeah. Good people. Uh. Uh, Rez. Rez? Is that short for lesbian? Rez? Rez? That's. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, it must be a good sentence. Yeah, this is lesbian. <laughs> I don't it's know why I thought there was an actual, there you go. like. I guess just I'm so used to hearing like Fujo and stuff that I thought there was like an actual Japanese term, but it's just katakana for gay and lesbian, I guess. Rezubian? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. Well, nice. Oh, that's where the menu is. God, that thing is so. I didn't even see. It's so tiny. Oh, I sure didn't see it either. Yeah, I could have changed it back to. Or I guess maybe I could have actually. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's cute. Give me. Same. I'm gonna have to get the full version real quick.